Hello, my friend, and welcome back to another ladder battle. I came across this glorious series just this morning when I woke up. I was checking out SocksSeawall.gg, and I came across this game versus Larva and some more as well. I won't say how many games in this series, but it should be a lot of fun here. I've been waiting for the return of Larva, and I think that a lot of people have been wondering where he's at. Well, he is practicing on ladder. He was suffering from, from some wrist injuries, but it seems like he's gotten better. Sitting at 2,600 on ladder. Sock himself is only at 2,550, something like that, which is still insanely impressive, but 2,600 is next level. Bit surprised that we didn't see him try to qualify for ASL. Maybe he is taking it a little bit easy, playing only a, you know a few games per day or something like that. And he knows that if he tries to qualify for ASL and he gets in, he'll have to practice, you know, countless hours every day and really give it a shot. Try to get the uh, the prize once again. Try to get the finals. So instead, he's just going to sit back for this season, take it easy. We wish him all the best. We hope he comes back soon, but I'm really excited for this game because Sock has been looking to me like an absolute dominant force in both the KCM and now in the ASL qualifiers. He made it through. He's going to be participating in that biggest of tournaments, and I expect greatness from him this season. We'll see if he can deliver. It's always tough to participate in that huge tournament. The big lights, the, the stage, the in-person event. It's so much different from competing from home like this in a ladder session or, you know, on a uh, show like KCM where you're just kind of playing from your own setup uh, online, that sort of thing. A lot more pressure. And just a different environment can throw you off. So we'll see how he does there. But this will be a nice test to see uh, his TVZ anyway. And I'm just so excited to see Larva playing once again. Starfoot Gamer here. Going to be sending out two drones to deal with this uh, bunker that's being placed down. Sock kind of toying with the idea right now of maybe coming in here. Trying to get some damage. He's got a third SCV on the way. Or a third Marine on the way. And with three Marines, he still can't beat four Lings. So he's, he's going to lose all of his Marines, unfortunately. This is a bit of a mistake from Sock. Being this aggressive with the early Marines. And finishing the bunker as well. Oh my god, that's painful. Oh no, Sock. What have you done, my friend? Well, Larva will have to come back here. Like, if there's a Marine that maybe went around and got into the bunker, that's a pain. So, he's going to come back, finish off that bunker. And back at home, we've got Sock with the full wall, except for this gap right here. You do need to put an SCV there if you don't want to get overwhelmed by Ling. So far, he's just focusing... On a blocking here with the Marines. He's not worried about Lings coming across the map. And Larva himself is focusing on getting his macro and economy online here. He's going to get this Spire up and running as soon as possible with the drone heading up towards the top center. Looks like he wants to take the base there. It's always a question to me, open question, where to take a base on Apocalypse. But... If you want to play more of a normal style, get Lurker. This is probably the best space to defend. But a lot of people prefer to take this base and go like a Hydra Defiler style. Hydra Lurker into Defiler. That seems to be very popular right now on this map. Just because this is not a high ground and it's not nearly as small of a choke as most maps have towards their natural usually you've got like an egg there or something at least to kind of make it a bit smaller but apocalypse is just a bit different 
We're going to have four Mutas on the way. Let's take a look at Sox build. Going into four racks play. He has that plus one on the way. It's, he started actually with the plus one. The eBay was quite early. So we're going to have the plus one coming in. And this is a style that Sock really loves to do. He loves to have his early plus one with the range and plus one finishing up at nearly the same moment. So he has this little power spike with four racks production. Range, stim, and plus one. That's when he's going to want to move around, try to fight these Mutalists and move out on the map, put some pressure onto the Zerg player. And it's a very, very strong style. It also gives you a pretty reasonable time for your uh, your factory as well. So you're not going to see him mine gas for a little while here, but pretty soon he's going to want to add on that factory. And when he does, he's going to add that second gas and start to uh, get into his next layer of tech. Not a lot of room for supply depots here, and even this one, Larva's going to find the SUV on it. Taking a bit of a trade with the Mutas here. Going to pick off one turret, opening up this position, but Sok has his Marines ready and waiting. They are plus one now with that range, so they are ready to fight here. Just six Mutas remain, so not enough to one-shot SCVs anymore. He's probably going to have to back off here pretty soon. Try to reinforce these mutas. How does he get out of here, though? All right, he's coming back around once again. Being really aggressive with the mutas. And he actually pulled out just long enough so that Sock would move away. And now he's come back in. Oh, he's uh, trying to catch some of these lings over here. The mutas are on the other side. The reinforcements are on the other side. So he does need to get them all together. Picking off a turret here at the front is very nice. The Marine Medic Ball moving out, moving forward right now. He's going to bring all the Mutas together. And that's a full group of 11. Plus one is not done yet, however, and he loses one. Not the greatest trade there for Larva. Larva building a Hydralis Den up at 12 o'clock. He's ready, already moving towards that transition. Taking fights here with the Marine Medic. Losing quite a few... Uh, Muta's here. Ooh, another Muta gets lost on the backside. You hate to see it. All the other Mutas have high HP, and that one Muta that was low gets taken out with one blast from a uh, Marine's shotgun. What is it? Gauze rifle. We're really fighting hard here with the Mutas in the middle of the map. We do not want to let sock advance but that's allowing sock to just kind of go into his tech here no harassment in the main anymore this is good for sock he likes this he wants to fight you with his uh plus one marines as long as he doesn't lose this entire bio bio ball he's going to be completely happy as long as you're not harassing him he's going to be completely fine with that standing up here on the high ground reinforcing the position he's been throwing down some scans i'm sure he knows about this base over here we should have the hive on the way the hive is coming up i'm gonna get a look at uh yeah he does scan there at 12 o'clock okay make sure that scat sock actually knows about that and he does lurkers are going to be morphed here shortly there's the lurker upgrade finishing up now we don't have any Oh, God. This is scary. Guys, we don't have any Sunkins at the Natural. That's a lot of Lurkers, but we have to buy a lot of time here. Really good play by Larva. Recognizing that there was a little gap between the units on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. And this gap was, or this group of units was a little smaller. He takes that fight and kills off a bunch of Marines. That was really, really good by him. And the Lurkers are going to finish. That is huge. Really, really well done here. I mean, this guy, you gotta love him, man. Larva, so, so good. A Zerg player truly to look up to. It's like, I would love to be able to play like Larva, but man, he just does it so, so smoothly. I'm gonna start to plant uh, some overlords over top of these lurkers. Lurkers up here at the top right. We have the... the uh, I've done. 
We actually need a Nidus though now. That's the next order of business. Nidus needs to come up so that we can... Oh, doing some harassment over here at the natural. So we can reinforce the position over at the top center. Otherwise, you know, a few irradiates come down. We could be in a lot of trouble, but it's not going to be irradiates. It's two dropships first. This is something that we've seen a lot from Sock actually recently. He loves to go and delay his uh, first science vessels to go for two dropships, but this could end up getting picked off. Huge, huge move here from Larva. He's going to get the drops. Both of them get picked. Oh, actually, this one still survives. I thought they were both going to get knocked down for sure, but that's actually quite a few Marines in here. He's fighting with the drones, bringing back the Lurker. Lurker's going to come back here. He is going to kill all the Lurkers. Oh my god, so much damage here right now coming from Sock. He kills all the drones in the main. And he's maybe going to pick off the uh, Defiler Mound as well. That is crazy good damage. Oh man. Larva really hurting right now. He's not even going to be able to kill this. All these Marines are going to live forever. Wow, the Marines live through that. This is so painful. We've got a few Lurkers here at the front. He's remiss to pull those away right now because if he does, he will end up getting broken at the natural. Do we have any science vessels? There's the first two science vessels. There's the dropship heading out once again. Going to reinforce the main base. Try to break through it, but we have more Scourge. Really good play by Larva, realizing that that's going to be the follow-up. Another wave of dropships. He can get this. Yes, he gets it. Really nicely done there. The final <laughs> drones are going to actually make a citizen's arrest on this uh, Marine here. I guess the medics ran out of energy. And he might get that as well. No, not quite. Barely. Not able to get that. Lurkers need to burrow. Oh, he's going to burrow. Really nice burrow here. These Marines cannot break through this. A good try here by Sock, but what was he thinking without any medics? Of course, he's not going to be able to break through there. Just a bit of... I, I, I want to say desperation, but like desperate to end the game, really. Not desperate uh, in that he's going to lose this. He's just desperate that he, he wants to end right now. And he loses quite a few of those Marines. He's going to lose some Marines here as well. But he needs to just relax right now. Is that... Almost 300 APM. Wow. Larva blazing away like it never happened. The wrist injury is gone here with 330 APM. He is going crazy right now. Hammering away at that keyboard. Looks like the, finally the medics will go down in the main. We will be able to transition into Defiler here. Just two lurkers over at the 12 o'clock. That is very breakable. If we had a couple of Dematrix right now, that would be helpful. But it seems like we don't have that. We've also got a Defiler here to try and pick these uh, these fights. He should be able to consume now and get a Dark Swarm here. So it's probably unbreakable at this point. With three Lurkers and a Dark Swarm, there's no way you're getting through that. Couple of defilers over here as well. We're gonna see plague being researched as the larva moves forward to try and claim his fourth base. Can sock continue the pressure here and maybe try to break this fourth? He is expanding out on the map. He's building some factories here at the front as well, getting into that tank play. A lot of fire bats popping out. Realizing that there is Dark Swarm now on the menu. Oh, gonna catch some Science Vessels. Very nicely done here. At a moment when Sock was not expecting it. He manages to catch one. Gonna get another here. No. Okay. Scourge are dumb. More Radiates coming down here. Lurkers are all gonna be irradiated now. Defiler. Gonna make a run for it. Can he get through the Nidus in time? He does. Saved by the Nidus. But we do need to pop back through. Oh! That's rough. Wanted to go for that uh, irradiate eraser trick play, but not able to get it done. The uh, Scourge timing just a little bit too good right now for our man Larva. Could have gotten a great plague right there, but 
missed out on the opportunity, maybe making a macro round. We've got the upgrades. About to finish plus two armor here, but plus three is going to be done before that plus two comes in. So really good timings here for Sock right now. Looks like we have to fall back from all of these fire bats. Oh no, the defiler is going to go down here. A lot of lurkers coming out. He will dark swarm and hopefully save this base. He's going to try his absolute best, but it looks like the base goes down. Really nice job here by Sock breaking through and stopping that fourth base from completing. That's going to delay the Ultralisk timing here. And less Ultras will be hitting when they finally do come out. Ooh. Some of the Marines getting baited in here. A couple of them getting killed. He killed three Marines there. That one Ling. My goodness. Oh, almost getting the Science Thistle, but Sock reacting in time. Pulling everything back there. His supply is getting very high, and he's starting to really pump out the tanks as well. This is going to get difficult for uh, Larva here if he's not able to get this fourth base right now. I mean, it's already going to be pretty difficult, but... Irradiates come through. Once again, all the Lurkers have been irradiated. We need more Lurkers to come up. A good pick off there with the Scourge. And we're going into three factory production and an armory here for the uh, attack upgrades coming up. We need to see a big plague. Come on out and get a plague here, Larva. Go, 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 go. Okay. Well, good spread by Sock anyway. It's a nice, uh, nice little move there. Spreading all of that out. We don't have any drops coming in or anything right now. Everything pretty calm on the Western Front as another base gets taken here by Sock. Pumping out a lot of tanks right now. He's got plenty of money to do so. Dodging plagues. Creating a very large army here. And you know what? I never thought about this before, but you could just siege up a big group of tanks on high ground here and a big group of tanks on high ground here and completely dominate the Zerg. Like, not allow them to move forward at all. It'll be very, very difficult to uh, siege put... Or to to uh, Dark Swarm push up that ramp. You're gonna need like high ground vision. You need lots of lings, lots of lurkers. He's gonna push up onto this tank and he might actually pick that off. He does get the tank kill. But the tanks are gonna be coming hard and fast now. That's so many tank, that's so much tank production. He just needs to get this rolling here. He's gonna start having three tanks at a time. But it's not a full mech transition. He is going into a lot of bio here. That's so many barracks as well. We will have some BCs out on the map here pretty soon too, I think. Hopefully I didn't miss that earlier on. I didn't see any BCs in the production tab, but I have been known to miss things occasionally. Well, running up here into the natural now. Getting past this little line that uh, has been set up for Larva. And the tanks are, or the uh, ultras are coming out, but there's already so many tanks. This is looking scary. Of course, the tanks do not have any upgrades right now. So they uh, aren't going to be dealing that much damage, but they really do help against these ultra. And also target down things like the defilers as they're running forward. Looks like this is going to be picked off, though. Ultra will go down. Tanks here on the right-hand side need to be protected. Dark Swarm comes down. Ultra's pushing forward here, but with the tank fire, they should be forced back. We need to see a fifth base come up for uh, Larva here pretty soon. Larva is struggling right now, but over here at the south... He is going to be able to make some headway and maybe start to push, put the pressure back onto his opponent. You know, Sock has been attacking him the entire time. Now it's time for Larva to get some attacks going here. And he might be able to attack up into the top center, which doesn't have any Marines in this bunker just yet. Oh, this base is completely 
uh, isolated here with no marine defense. And he's even going to radiate these. These ultras are going to be so strong at killing SCVs right now. A lot of SCVs going down over there at the top right. But we're trying to push forward even further here right now. That's a lot of marine medic. But a few well-placed plagues could absolutely ruin their day. Marine medic going to be falling back. There's the plague. A lot of SCVs just fell over here at the third base. Doesn't have too much more income remaining here. I guess he can transfer a lot of these SCVs over. But more and more Ultra coming out. Here comes that big attack. Ultra surrounding and crushing this army of Sock. Sock being forced back on multiple fronts right now. Opening up positions for Larva to take more bases. This is starting to get out of control here, Sock. Falling all the way back to his third base. In quite a rough situation now. These bunkers still don't have units in them. He really needs to get some Marines in there. It looks like he will be transferring them over now. He is in full defense mode here. Got to take this high ground now. With lots of tanks. He's pumping them out. He's got battle cruisers finally operational. Science vessels are out on the map. Doing whatever radiates they can get. But really active with the Scourge this entire game. That's a theme I'm picking up here from Larva. Is just how active he is with the Scourge. Always trying to pick off science vessels. It is impressive to see. Wow, that is a lot of vessels. We've got nine vessels in the skies. That's actually more than you can um, micro efficiently. Trying to pick off some uh, defilers here. Get this defiler. Irradiate. Very nice. Getting some more irradiates down. Only one play. A plague goes off on a single vessel. That is unfortunate. Should be able to get this uh, defiler as well. But there goes a dark swarm. A plague should be following as well. Does not have the energy for that. Instead, just going to drop one dark swarm here. We had some battle cruisers. There they are. They're finally moving out on the map. I'm going to try and use this hit squad to maybe pick off a base if we can. The marine medic hit squad heading over towards the bottom right. But that's a lot of scourge coming through. He's trying to connect with all of these sciences. He's picking off a lot of them. Looks like the battle cruisers are going to be the next target. Something came up here. A lot of lings, I think, came up to the top center. But they all got picked off. This is a nice offensive position. Three bunkers. Oh, he actually needs to put the Marines in there. Three bunkers and two, three tanks as well. Is a very strong army. Pushing forward here with the BCs, but does get plagued. Some spores are going to come up here to defend this base. And that should be enough to push back these BCs. Only one HP on that. And there's some Hydras as well. Going to help to finish that off. Few more Irradiates coming down. Sacrificial vessels here. He needs to send them way out. To get the irradiates now that he needs to keep his army safe. But that really leaves them open to the scourge flying in. This time they weren't scourge were not successful in connecting, but he should be oh, he's actually gonna get this right now. Actually for free here. Sock just flying right into that. That's unfortunate. So many bases now around the map, though. Larva blazingly fast. Catching a ton of bases here. And see some Dark Swarm come down. He should have enough money to pump out a ton of Ultra. Drop over here at the 12 o'clock. A distractionary tactic. While he pushes forward here onto the high ground. Tanks are set up. But so many bases have been taken. There's so much gas available here, guys. It is crazy how much gas we have right now. Even this guy, geyser's not run out yet. This one, depleted. But we've got one... Two, three, four, five gas right now. Lings and Ultra sending out here to fight. Some counterattacks might be occurring right now. We have Dark Swarm. We could get up here into the natural, but instead he's going to hit this from behind. Try to get on top of these tanks. Dark Swarm should be coming down in a moment. Dark Swarm there, and the tanks are getting ravaged. Marine Medic are going to abandon the tank position. 
Letting it go for dead. Trying to run forward here, maybe to pick off this base. He's going to go for it. Try to pick that off, but... I mean, we're bailing water out of a sinking ship right now with a teacup. Tea because there's so many bases around the map here. He's going to get down with this drop. Maybe pick off this base as well. If he gets both of them, that might be something. He got this base, but he lost his entire army. Look at his supply just dropping like a stone. Full marine drop here. He knows that these marines aren't going to last longer than one stim anyway, so... Why send any medics with this? Looks like he loses the dropship. And all the Marines will go down these Ultras. Perfect for dealing with small contingents of Marines, like in a drop. We don't have any more battle cruisers just yet, but one is being made right now. We're running out of minerals here, guys. Sock has to kill a base and take a base if he wants to continue on in this game because... We don't see any signs of Larva stopping right now. He's going to retake this. And his income is just insane. Oh, what the heck? We've got a science vessel over here. Not sure what that's all about. Should see some Scourge popping out soon to deal with that. But army making its way down here towards the bottom right. Having two hold position lurkers. Oh my god, the hold position lurker play at the 11th hour here doing so much damage. 15 kills on this lurker. Holy. That is incredible. You never expect to see it. 26, 27 minutes into a game. Two hold position lurkers decimate the army. Absolutely destroying whatever hope Sock had left in actually taking out that base. And the army is just rallying forward now. And GG is called. Sock taps out. An amazing game from Larva. I wish I could play it at this level, man. This guy is incredible. I was looking for some tips. I was looking for, you know, something that I could learn from. But basically, just be insanely fast. And handle everything perfectly with epic Scourge control. And fantastic Defiler Micro. Basically anything is possible. He's able to run over Sock here. Despite the number of tanks he was producing. It wasn't enough to deal with the overwhelming number of Ultra that Larva could field late into this game. And GG is called, man. Larva is insane. Let's jump into game number two. Holy, what a game. What a game there from Larva. It is a travesty. That we do not have this man in ASL this season. Godlike performance there in that last game. Sock, not bad himself either. I mean, he was doing some really good moves. I love the mech transition. Knowing that ultras are coming, dropping three fact on four base. I mean, it's really smart. It's good. It's a very strong play, but... Larva doing amazing. Just expanding out, taking the entirety of the map. You see that once he's shoved back Sock, when he had a moment to, to breathe, you know, after all the drops were done, after all the uh, aggression had subsisted, had, had subsided, he just moved out and took every base on the map he went up to like what was it eight base at one point i don't know man he is just incredible with the macro play on this map it's going to be a little bit different because this is a two-player map it's not a three-player map we don't have nearly as many bases here so we'll see how sock wants to approach this one we'll see how larva can respond going for a wall in here i'm hoping that sock won't make the same mistake and send small groups of marines at him in the early game you can see that larva going for an early pool here an over pool i believe or maybe it was a nine pool might have been that build it's kind of looking like a nine pool right now with the timing of these links coming out we will have the supply depot wall in here on the way and this is a great position for sock actually you look at this you're feeling very very happy as the terran player right now 
Of course, unfortunately, the SCV went to the outside, but it is what it is. He's going to send one more Marine over to that side and push these links back. But a tiny repair bill here for, you know, your opponent producing six links at the beginning of the game. This is perfect. This is just great for Sock. He's going to get his command center down at about the same time as the hatchery. Which, I mean, his two racks, if he wants to go two racks here, he can force a lot of response. And it's his position is going to be incredibly, incredibly strong. He lifts off the barracks. I think that uh, Larva is waiting for that moment to try and run in. But uh, Larva not quite moving in time. He doesn't get under that barracks. And, uh, you know, get on top of these Marines. But, hey, it's fine. SCV goes down over here. What can we see from Larva? What is he going to pull out? It's looking like just very standard play right now. I think maybe he'll just go into Spire. Low economy game here. Try to overwhelm with Muta. I'm not sure. But it's very hard to do against a player like Sonic who has such a nice setup in the early game it's also hard to play a macro game so I'm really not sure what we're gonna see here Larva does get that Spire has full vision of the uh, barracks here he knows that it's gonna be a bio play and it will be indeed a 2 rex play. So deviating from his normal build here to put on that pressure. Like as a Zerg player, when I look at this, oh, I went 9 pool and I didn't get any damage. My opponent's going to go 2 rex. That's just, that's just how it is. Oh, I thought he was going to come in with more links and actually surround this. But he's going to instead go for the Supply Depot. Supply Depot is getting a little low. We do need a third SCV there to repair. But we actually need Sunkins uh, very, very badly here. This one's about halfway done. Can Sock break through? Ooh, this is getting scary. One Sunken Colony. He's going to hit the stim button, but he loses one Marine. And will back off. Lings are going to head back home now. More Lings have popped out. So maybe he can surround and kill this. Oh, Larva's going to kill this. Yeah, he's going to get this for sure. Stim here, trying to run back. Sock, micring his heart out. Actually doing a fantastic job. My god, he won that fight. Unbelievable. Really, really good control there. Actually, godlike control. And he forced the Sunken. He gets his medic back home with the two Marines. I would say this is a big win for Sock. But not the win he was looking for. He was looking to break the Sunken. And just win the game right there. Not mining the second gas. I'm not sure what that's about. I guess because we're getting this uh, next hatch out. A little bit confused. About why we're not mining this gas right now. What is the plan here from Larva? Okay, he's going to get the gas mining going now. Guess he needed more minerals? I'm not sure. Generally, gas is just the most important resource. But certainly this guy knows more about the uh, economic game than I do. Definitely not mining that for a reason. Turrets are well placed and we're transitioning already off of two uh, racks instead of the four from last game. So a much quicker transition here into that tech. And it looks like he's going into a valkyrie here so valkyries are going to come out and larva's not going to get trapped on uh you know pigeonholed into mutalist tech he is going to switch into hydralist and and he will be able to pop some lurker here so this play with the uh, valkyries is not going to be nearly as strong as sock hopes it will be because we're not making much more meter. We are making four more. We're going to go up to a full 12. Which is pretty typical. Pretty standard. But after that I think. With this third gas online. And Queen's Nest coming. He will be transitioning into Lurker. And the Valkyrie play is not going to do very well. Once the Lurkers are out. 
Scan does come down from Sock. He's checking for a fourth. There you go. Or for third, excuse me. He sees the third in the top right-hand corner. Poking at the Marines here, but doesn't really want to trade just yet. We don't have flyer attacks. We're waiting for that upgrade before making that full engagement. Where are the rest of the mutas? I thought there was a full 12. There's one. Hmm, that's a little bit funny. I thought we had six with four on the way. There we go, there's another couple. I'm gonna get up to that 11 count. I just are ready to transition. Evolution Chamber and Hive. Really well done here by Larvae. You can see he's just so adept at transitioning from any early game uh, into, you know, that lurker defense into that uh, next stage. Going after the Valkyrie here. He gets one of the Valkyries. Really nice job. Oh, he might get two. He might get two. He's going to go after it. No, he backs off. The Marine Medic here moving through the middle of the map. Going to get caught here by the Mutas and... Now they don't have that Valkyrie support. So the whole point of this push was to have two Valkyries with it so that he could push back the Mutas and try to take a fight. But as it stands, I mean, he's not going to be able to push back the Mutas and he's not going to be able to see these Lurkers either. These are probably on hold position, I imagine. Sock setting out a couple of Marines here just to check for some hold position Lurkers, but really he needs a scan. They are not on hold position. I take it back. Marine headed up here towards the top right. But Lurker's already in place, man. Larva just one step ahead in this game. Do we have Science Vessel? I don't see any Science Vessels in production. That is a little bit scary to me. Why don't we have Science Vessel here? We've got Tank Valkyrie. This is like a fantasy push here. He will be able to, uh, you know, start to hit some of these Lurkers. But the Lurker is actually firing back right now. He's trying to cross a bridge. Man, that is not a good idea. Oh, the Valkyrie's not firing until just now. But three do fire here onto these uh, Mutas. And the tank is going to get taken out. Unfortunate that he uh, sieged up there. A lot of Marines dying on the bridges. Really, Larva doing a great job of buying time here on the bridge. Slowing everything down. Some Scourge coming forward, but they're not able to connect. Gonna pick off this tank here, I think. He does get it. Some more some more Lurkers coming up and the Scourge connect. Mutas have to fall back. They do still have some value though. We can't allow those to go down just yet. Marines kind of running in here against these Lurkers. And Larva holds his ground. He's setting up hold position lurker traps all over the place. And there's nowhere really for Sock to run home to. He's going to put down a scan. Then take this fight. Oh, no second. No second uh, spine coming out there for Larva's lurkers. Man, he's being so aggressive with his lurkers. It's a double-edged sword. If he loses all the lurkers... Things are going to go really bad for him. But if he keeps putting on pressure, I mean, he's going to buy himself a lot of time. Setting out a bunch of Lurkers. But this is a great spread right now for Sock. I think he will kill all of the Lurkers here. Albeit just barely. Muta's coming in. They're going to take this fight after the Scourge came and picked off one of the two Valkyries that remained. This Lurker actually survives with five kills. Are you kidding me? Vulture's coming out here now. He is going to start to lay mines at least. But not having the Irradiate just yet. It's being researched right now. Sock on the back foot, man. This is the point in the game where he should be out on the map pressuring the Zerg. But the Zerg is pressuring him. Pushing him back hard. As he tries to take his third base. We've got a, a Defiler that's almost made its way into the natural. This is huge. Oh, the mine connection was insane there. Absolutely insane. So much damage from that mine. And the Defiler is going to walk right into the natural. This is very, very bad now. More mines are going to get laid down here at least. And we should have Irradiates now finally. 
but Scourge are gonna get this connection? No, he keeps that alive. Super important that he saves these first few vessels. Sock barely holding all right now. He's got enough, enough for another irradiate here, but he's got to save it for a lurker or for a defiler that's coming across the map right now. There it is, that defiler. Oh, he loses a vessel and he casts his irradiate on a muta, which he's going to regret later. I tell you what. Here comes that defiler. He's going to cast the irradiate. There it is. He gets the irradiate on the defiler. Defiler gonna make his way up here towards this natural. Here's that mine. Mine goes off, but not a great connection there. We have one tank, but the uh, Defiler dies. Gets one Dark Swarm down, but it's just not in range of the natural here. And the Lurker in the front is gonna get picked off slowly by this tank. Sock doing a pretty good job holding on, but more and more pressure is coming here. Larva has changed all his rally points to the front. He's taking a fourth base right now as well. Gonna possibly lose a, a science vessel here. Lurker's gonna run up with the Mutas and Lings and actually kill all of these Marines. He's taking over this third base, killing off the workers here. Still, Sock cannot pull away his SCVs and he can't push out until that Dark Swarm is gone. So, buying that time here, Larva will kill a ton of SCVs. So many of them going down here. Eventually, the Lurkers will be pushed back. But this is a massive blow to the economy here for Sock, who's just barely hanging on right now. Another Dark Swarm could come down. Another Dark Swarm, maybe a Plague this time. No, he's gonna move forward with the Dark Swarm. Oh, Plague, 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 Plague. Oh, no Plague. He does not have that Plague, I guess. That would have been the most dirty Plague you've ever seen in your life. Look at all the units under that Dark Swarm right now. Just imagine. All of that getting plagued here would have been brutal. This Lurker is so low, it's got 12 kills. He could have killed it with the Fire Bats right there, but failed to do so. Instead, gonna throw down a Radiant on that with just 12 HP. That's value for a Larva there, in fact. Army gonna finally move out on the map. We're 15 minutes in, he's finally got some pressure with, uh, you know, Defiler's not able to just walk into his natural. There's a Plague, so he did have Plague. What the heck, Larva? You missed out on an insanely good Plague a little bit earlier. Now he's gonna move his way over here towards this natural. There are Lings and a Defiler, but no Lurker here to try and push forward. With Firebats coming out, just one Defiler and some Lings is not gonna be enough. Firebats falling back here. Defiler could get a massive plague right now. The the plague on all of these vessels would be insane. Here we go. There it is. Great plague there. Bit unfortunate. Sock not moving his army away. Not reacting to having the Defiler here. Another plague goes down. We're going into mass Hydra. With Hydralisk range coming up here soon. He's going to pick off so many vessels. Three vessels go down in quick succession to one single Hydra. And man, Z Lar Larva just dominating right now. Just dominating this game. This is some amazing, immaculate play from him on this map. Dark Origin. It can be so hard to fight Terran here, but... Larva making it look easy right now. Of course, Sock is fighting back. He's taking some map control now. He's looking to take a fourth base and is starting to add on more and more tanks. You can see more factories coming up here. Is there another factory in the main? Yes, there is. Going up to three factory tank. It's even stronger against a player going for... Uh, like that Hydralis Defiler style. Is he going to be getting upgrades here? I don't see one just yet. Still at 0-0. Zero, zero. That would be really beneficial having some tank upgrades right now. Spreading out the tanks here at the front. Going to pick off a Lurker for free. A bit of a mistake there by Larva. He's got a Defiler though. Defiler with Dark Swarm and could be getting some energy for Plague here. But there comes the... Irradiate. If he comes any farther forward, he can target this down, and he does. Unfortunately, though, getting plagued here, that is a pain. 
a real pain for Sock. Looks like he sent these um, back. These these are the uh, I think the science vessels that got plagued earlier. They are they have been sent back and healed up. So that is very good for Sock. He's going to be able to get some more use out of those. Unfortunately, draining all of his medic's energy by healing up these uh, plagued marines. The plagued marines getting a lot done, or uh, the plague getting a lot done. Excuse me, against the marines. Oh, Ling Hydra just ripping this apart. A drop up here in the top right can do some damage, but we've got a dark swarm here. All the drones can retreat to it, and the Hydralis Ling should be able to overwhelm this now. Army moving around the left-hand side. He's unseached all his tanks. This is the big move. This is the big move from Sock. It all comes down to this, really. Can he actually make these tanks worthwhile? I feel like taking the center of the map is way more beneficial. Just set up huge tank numbers here. Get up to these ramps. And then you can take bases on the right-hand side of the map without too much trouble, but... Looks like this uh, CC could end up going down. That's a lot of Hydra. A lot of Hydra here, and he's hitting the center once again. Defiler has not been shut down. Can he actually kill this? Oh, he does. He does get the Defiler there. Nicely done. CC is gone, though. And we don't have uh, enough tanks over on this side. Let's throw down some Radiates over here, but... Sock. On the back foot. As he has been for a lot of this game. Tank's going to be sent up here. Hydra's dealing some damage. Maybe picking off this uh, this bunker. That's quite a lot of tanks. But I think uh, Larva has the right idea here. Going around it. You know, kind of surrounding the army. Getting some uh, defilers out. Can he actually get on top of these tanks and reduce that count? He's keeping the Dark Swarm active over these Lurkers, but eventually the Irradiates will break through this. Needs to come forward and get another Radiate down on the Defiler here. He does. Very nicely done there by Sock. Keeping his vessels alive as well. Keeping his army mobile. Moving over here to the left-hand side now. He's going to give up the middle of the map, which is quite scary to me. Quite scary that he wants to do this right now while wow, Larva taking multiple bases at the same time here. He's taking the center right and the center left. Dark Swarm coming down. Dropship moving around the side. He's going to go back up to the top right it looks like. But there are Ultra here now. Ultras are in position. He's going to go to the natural instead. Might be able to get some damage done with that drop. Tanks here. Not going to be able to do too much unless he scans and kills the Defiler. Okay, the Defiler is actually out of range. One Ultra here. Going to be all it takes to deal with this dropship. A Scourge. Going to finish that off. Larva just playing so damn good, guys. It is crazy to see. He's got quite the mineral bank, but he's spending his gas very, very well. And he has a lot of control in this game. He does need to take a fifth base eventually, but he's limited his staring opponent to just three bases, and money is starting to run thin here. Now, the tank number is very high, but this is a huge wave of Lings and Ultras coming forward here, jumping on top of all of this. I'm going to drop those Dark Swarms, and this is just way too much. All the tanks are going to go down. Completely overwhelmed here. Beautifully done by Larva. GG is called. He takes him down once again. Sock, who just made his way into the ASL. Getting dominated here by Larva. I mean, it was still a great game, but... I don't know. That one didn't even feel close. Larva was on Sock's ass the whole game. And just taking it to him over and over and over again with the Defilers constantly coming across the map and now transitioning into Ultra. There was no way for Sock to hold on there. So many Ultras, so many links, just overwhelming numbers here. It's so impressive to watch Larva Macro, man. He is so, so good at it.
Not as many uh, science vessel snipes in this game, but nonetheless, a fantastic, fantastic game from our boy Larva. Such a shame that we don't see him in ASL, but at least we get some ladder battles here. I'll be keeping a close eye on his account from this moment, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here in this game, and I'll see you tomorrow.